All right, y'all boys, what's up? It is Jamie May here, back here with another video. And Josie Aldo has officially retired, man. Uh, it was announced yesterday that he was taken off of the rankings, and he's going to officially retire. One fight of his contract, he's out of his contract and retired from MMA. Josie Aldo has had a, a luster in his career, man. Um, he went, he only lost two fights at Bantamweight. He lost to. Mirab and then Yan. That, those are the only two fights he lost. You ain't talking about what about Marlon Mar We all know he beat Marlon Rice. That's that's a W. And uh, he beat the likes of Rob Font, the man I'm facing right now, Cheeto Vera. Uh, he he's beating those guys at Bantamweight, those top guys, and and look good. He's beating people, Chad Mendes twice. Uh, Cub Swanson, the flying Cub, the the knee that he hit Cub Swanson with. He's fought on um, Volkanovski, Holloway, Ricardo Lamas. Like, the dude has fought nothing but the best. Uriah Faber. Champion for nine years across two organizations. Like, bro, Josie Aldo's Hall of Fame. Like, let's not act like it. He's top five of all time. As far as goats, I have him at number four. Um, I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, Khabib. I don't have Khabib in my top five. Um, yeah, it's, just, it's just facts. I don't have him in my top five, but Jose Aldo's that guy. He's that guy, so gotta give him respect his due. Um, I saw something that he may be interested in the PFL. It was just a rumor, it's not, nothing concrete. And I, I wouldn't be mad if he goes to the PFL because he can just fuck around and get a free meal, honestly. Because if you look at the P PFL's featherweight division, who's really in there? Burgers? Marlon Marais, who he already beat and who's fell off of he's, his career has fell off tremendously after. Shane Burgos, like he can beat those guys, man. So, well, this is at Featherweight I'm speaking, if he does go back up to Featherweight. At Bantamweight, there's really not no guys like that either. So Josie Alda, if he wants to go to Featherweight, uh Bantamweight, wherever he feels comfortable at, he's gonna win. Maybe boxing in the future, I don't know. I don't really see Josie Aldo boxing, honestly. He has Josie Aldo has some of the best boxing boxing in UFC history. When we talk about underrated boxers, Josie Aldo's up there. He has some of the most clean boxing, most technical boxing, especially his body punches, as I'm showcasing it right now. So I wouldn't be mad at it, but I don't I don't see it. Maybe like Pacquiao, Josie Aldo versus Pacquiao will be something to see. Two legends in both respective sports. Going at it in boxing, I would, I would pay, I would dead ass pay for that, but probably not gonna get it because Jose Aldo just had a kid literally this weekend, this past weekend, if I'm not wrong, or this past week. So, congratulations to him, bro. He gets the ride off into the sunset, career behind him. So, y'all just gotta thank Jose Aldo, bro. You know, give him his flowers, man, because he, he's done a lot for the sport, giving us great fights. You know, I hope we should have got a legend Joe. We should be getting a legend Jose Aldo. The next build, well, the next patch should be a prime icon Jose Aldo. I feel like it is on the right. He, because he really should have got one over Yoan Prime, you icon Yoan and Khabib, who are virtually the exact same fighters, especially the prime icon of Khabib. It, 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 it was stupid. I really feel like there should be a prime icon Jose Aldo. So I would love to see that. You know, next. But, um, I don't know. We'll see. But well, we got this Shido Vera player in front of us. We are in quick fight, by the way, because this one is weight classes. And I kind of want to get this video out of the way so I can post it uh, tomorrow. But, um, yeah. Got this Cheeto Vera. And Cheeto Vera does not have the best body health. Does not have the best stamp. So, we're going to, and he doesn't have the best leg. Cheeto Vera all around, health wise, health stats wise, is just not good. I really feel like he should have better cardio, I'm not gonna lie. So should Jose Aldo, but... Oh, nice uppercut as I went to the body. Team kick. Caught him with the one, two. Switch kick. Oh, that rocked me. My head health must be low. That's right. I forgot that nigga Cheeto Vera got 94 power, so gotta be careful. Got him. Body. 
Body. Body. Front kick. Body. I'll clinch him. Head. Head. Mm. Yeah, get up. Leg kick. Yeah, we 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 working this dude right now. Leg kick. Hook kick? Damn, hook kick? Drop him right there. Question mark, we're gonna throw it. Boom. Damn, he blocked that? Boom. Oh shit, I gotta I gotta remember. 94 power, but once you get Cheeto Vera in a state like this, bro, Cheeto Vera is cake. It's a cake walk because his health stats really aren't that great. I want I want that five star body. I'm waiting on him to throw the uppercut, or the front kick. So I don't get caught when I go to the body. Because I'm going to unload the balls. Drop them. Yeah, it's done. If I hit him one more time, it's going to be done. So we can go low. Go low. Mm, nice one, too. Good round. So we're gonna finish him this round. We're gonna get him out of here. Four knockdowns that last round. We we we've been out striking him literally every round. So th th this is easy peasy lemon squeezy. But again, happy retirement to Jose Aldo, man. I'm actually happy for Jose, man. I really wanted to see him get that one last title shot against Aldra. I really feel like he should have had the title shot over TJ Dillashaw, or he could have made him versus TJ for the title early. Really dislike that they gave him me rob. No, that's what it is. Got him. Got him right there. Flying in. Front kick. We're gonna finish this dude this round though. Get him out of it so I can get y'all out of here. I know y'all got Wheel of Fortune to watch. You know, saying young and the restless. We're gonna get y'all out of here. Get him out of here, man. He's a wrestler. That's crazy. He just saw me. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> that flying knee was crazy. And this is how we ended off, man. With Josie Aldo. Favorite moment of Josie Aldo when he jumped into the crowd versus Chad after he beat Chad Mendez in Brazil. That was crazy. He jumped into the crowd and shit. Oh, man. I'm going to miss Josie seeing Josie Aldo fight, man. <sighs> I hope the next Josie Aldo video I make is of me playing with Prime Icon Josie Aldo. I'm probably not going to make another one, if I'm being honest. Because I really don't use Josie Aldo in this game as is. Um, But I want I did want to pay my... Uh, I do gentlemen just to let Jose Aldo know I'm a big fan, man. I'm happy for his retirement, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for me, man. Honestly, we won by knockout 2017, so that was a 10-8 round. Jeez Louise. Um, anyways, y'all, we gonna, I'm going to get out of here, man. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, share if you new. Join the family, join the gang. Let me know. Is Jose Aldo a Hall of Famer? It really shouldn't be a question. But let me know down below in the comments what y'all think, man. Y'all boys, stay up, stay blessed. It has been Jamie May with another video. And I'll see y'all next time. Did I say do something productive with your day beating? You're just not productive? I think I did. But see y'all next time. Happy retirement, Jose Aldo.
See y'all boys.